Dazzling Reflections Kaleidoscope Software, a fun, easy-to-use application that transforms your photos and clip art into kaleidoscopes in seconds. In the time that it's taken me to tell you that, I've already made my first kaleidoscope. Let me tell you about the program. It comes with over 50 templates, and you can see they're listed here to the side. We also offer several expansion packs, and you'll see these later on in the video. Dazzling Reflections also comes with video tutorials that take you step by step through all the features. Just take a few moments to view these and you'll be making kaleidoscopes in no time. If you prefer written instructions, we also have that available. Just click on the icon that looks like a book. The DR icon is a direct link to our website. Stop by, take a look at all the fun things you can do with Dazzling Reflections. We've got lots of examples and also some video project tutorials. So let's go ahead and make a few more kaleidoscopes. I've went ahead and cleared my screen, and to do that I just simply clicked on this icon, the very first one, and that will give me a clean working area. Then I'm going to go to the Import Picture icon, click on that, you go to the folder where your photos are, and then I'm going to click on one image, hold down the Control key, and select a few more and bring those into the program. So now you can see they're all listed to the side here. Now I'm going to go over to my templates and I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click on template KS21. I'm going to click on it once and that grays out the area so I know that it's selected. Then I'm going to go over to my photographs, double click quickly on the photograph and you can see that it's filled the template. Then I'll click on the active segment and it's the same position in every template. And when I click and hold, I can freely move that image around inside that template. When I release, it will automatically update all the different segments. So let me click on that again, and I can show you that we've got on the corners, you can use those for rotating the photograph, and the black boxes on the center line are for increasing or decreasing the size. So for this example, I'm going to rotate the photograph upside down. So the first thing I'll do is go up to the corner, click and hold, and with my mouse I'm going to pull straight down. Don't follow the rotation, just pull straight down with the mouse and your photograph will rotate. So now that I've got that in place, I'm just going to move it around in the template, I'm going to increase the size of the photo, position this in here, and you may need to tweak it a little bit. Click on the white space when you're done, and now we've got a beautiful kaleidoscope of a boy and his dog. So I'm really happy with this, and now I'd like to export this from Dazzling Reflections so that I can use it in a graphics program. So to do that, I go up to the File menu, I'm going to choose Export, then it's going to ask me what size would you like to export this at. I'm going to say 6 inches, 300 dpi. I'm going to click OK, and it asks me where do you want to save it. Again, if this is not the folder, you would click on the down arrow and select the folder where you would like to save it. I need to give it a name, so I'll call it Boy and Dog 2. Then it says File Type. It will default to JPEG, but for digital applications, you want to expand that menu and select PNG, Portable Network Graphic. What this will do is, all this white space that shows around the kaleidoscope, it will make that transparent. So I'll click Save, and now that image has been exported and saved as a PNG file. Now I'm going to show you how to use one of your photographs that probably wouldn't make it into your digital scrapbooking page you know, by itself, but we're going to make a custom frame from it. So I'm going to click on KS19, then I'm going to double click on the photograph of the pumpkins, and you can see it's not a particularly interesting photograph, but when I click on the active segment, then increase the size, and just start moving this around,
you can see now I've created a custom pumpkin frame made from my own photograph. I'm going to export this so I can use it in my graphics program. Go to File, choose Export. This time I'll make it a little bit larger, say 7 inches. Click OK and I'll call it Frame Pumpkin. And again I'm going to select PNG so that I remove all that white space. Click Save and now I've got this custom pumpkin frame ready to use in my graphics program. So in the last few examples, I've shown you how you can take your photographs and make them into interesting kaleidoscope frames and elements. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about digital scrapbooking kits and the elements that come with those. You can import those into Dazzling Reflections and you can make interesting frames or other kaleidoscope images from them. Let me show you how that works. So I'll go down to my frames again. I'll click on this digital element and you can see without even doing anything I've created a beautiful frame. I can click on the active segment, I can increase the size, completely fill the segment, now I've got a really pretty frame. I could also rotate that image so that it gives me a different look. So that's one example using that particular image. Let me clear the screen and I'd like to show you some interesting things I've done with this sprig of holly. Again, I'll start with the frame, double click, I'm going to increase the size, just position that into the frame, I'll click the lines off and now you can see we've got a beautiful border. If I increased it further, moved it up to the top of the screen so there's no white space at the top, that would make a wonderful border for a scrapbooking page. You can also use the circle frames. So I'll click on this image or this template here. Again, make the adjustments. Now I've got a beautiful circle frame. Now you can take circles and you can resize them into ovals and you can take squares and resize those into rectangles. So that's a couple of great creative opportunities right there. And I do have examples of finished scrapbooking layouts where I have used both of these images and you'll see those in just a moment. So I've shown you a couple of framing opportunities with the digital elements but let's just make a regular circle kaleidoscope. So I'm going to go back up to my screen, click New, then I'll go and pick kaleidoscope template KSO2, double click on the holly, now this image is still quite big, so I'm going to reduce the size, then I'm going to come up to the corner and rotate it, bring that into the segment, and when I release you can see we've got a beautiful medallion circle kaleidoscope. Now an interesting thing to note about this digital element, it's already in PNG format. So when I export this in PNG format, all this white space that you see here will be transparent. So this is great because now I can add a colorful mat behind it, I can add some embossing, some shadowing, and it just brings a whole new life to this digital element. So these are just a few examples of ways you can take your photographs, your digital elements and make them into interesting kaleidoscopes. So let me show you some of the things I've done with them. Here's a great example of using what I call a people kaleidoscope and putting it into a digital scrapbooking page. You can see it's a great focal point and I've just accented it with some digital elements. In this layout, you can see how I've used the pumpkin frame. I also took the photo in the center of the frame and made some additional kaleidoscopes from that, and then I've scattered them throughout the layout. I think it's a great addition to the page. By using the digital element that came in this kit, I was able to make a custom frame that perfectly coordinates with the rest of the kit.
This layout is a great example of how to use clip art with your digital scrapbooking. Remember that sprig of holly? Well, we took that, we made this beautiful frame that you can see just showcases the center picture beautifully. We also made that medallion. I resized it and layered it with some other digital elements and it makes a great accent to the page. This page is a great example of taking a circle frame and resizing it into an oval. I further accented the page by making a medallion kaleidoscope. I've layered a smaller one on top of it and you could add shadowing and bossing and other effects to make this more dimensional. Dazzling Reflections Kaleidoscope software is compatible with Windows 8, 7, Vista and XP operating systems. It includes over 50 templates and we currently offer 7 additional add-on template packs. Let's take a closer look at those template packs. The Crazy 8 Template Pack. 10 uniquely shaped templates with one thing in common. They are all 8 segments. Great for scrapbooking layouts, cards and 3D ornaments. Check out our Little Dazzler Ornament tutorial on our website. You'll see how you can easily create a 3D ornament using a template from this pack. The Garden Party Template Pack. This includes 12 garden theme templates, 10 with flower shapes, one dragonfly and one butterfly. These are perfect for spring and summer projects. Make your fall projects come to life with the Autumn Splendor Template Pack. This nature-inspired collection includes 14 leaf and pumpkin templates. Kaleidoscope Folding. 14 templates inspired by the popular teabag folding technique. Your projects will look like you spent hours cutting and folding. Butterfly Dreams, a customer requested template pack. This one's all about the butterflies. 20 templates total, 10 with 8 segments, perfect for people images, and 10 with 16 segments, great for frames, cards, and page accents. Easily create a custom butterfly from a floral image. You can see in this little video clip how easy it is. The Simply Elegant Template Pack includes 26 unique shapes with elegant curves and decorative edges. If you own an electronic die cutting machine, be sure to check out the companion CD called Stack and Beyond. It shows you how to do print and cuts and you can easily create 3D ornaments, boxes and cards. The Snowflake Template Pack, 16 assorted snowflake inspired templates. These templates make stunning kaleidoscope snowflakes. Be sure to check out the video presentation on our website. Whether you enjoy scrapbooking, paper crafting, card making, quilting, or making home decor items, Dazzling Reflections will take your creativity to new heights. In this video, I have given you a quick overview of Dazzling Reflections. I encourage you to stop by our website to get a more detailed view of its capabilities. We have lots of project ideas and video tutorials for you to watch. If you have any questions, please contact us and we will be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.